welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video in this video i'll be predicting the welterweight bout between jared gooden versus abu bakar Nurmagomedov. so looking at this one right here um i think at one point i was thinking um gooden was the more well rounded fighter but really looking into it um abu bakar is the more well rounded fighter and i don't think it's much of a debate when i look at jared gooden i look back at some of his fights i see issues with he had issues with wrestling i see one fight where he got at least one fight. It's like at least one, if not three fights where, well, it's definitely two fights, but the Gray's fight and I think a Williams fight. The Williams fight, he got out Russell. And it's not like Williams was some super stellar fighter or what's he doing now today. He hasn't, he's not doing nothing stellar or anything. And it was a fight where he got grinded to a decision, just out wrestled and grinded to a decision. And he had one fight where even though he had opponent rock, the opponent still had some opportunities where they were able to wrestle him and control him. And then the Gray's fight, Gray's controlled him heavily in the wrestling. And even now, leading up to this fight, he called in, you know, he's saying everything somebody says when they go against a wrestler and they have issues with wrestling. Like, oh, this guy's, their fights are boring. Russians is this, Russians that. He don't respect their style of fighting. Like, this and that. Like, you know, bleep, bleep, explicit, like, explicit, uh, I'm never going to say it, but, <laughs> but, you know, he's, he's just saying a whole lot about their style. Or he's, you know, he's flapping his guns. And I, I haven't really seen him truly address his wrestling. And then now he's going against probably the best wrestler he has faced in and outside the cage. So I can't really um, see his path to victory. Well, I can see his path to victory, but I'm leaning to Nurmagomedov. At first, I was kind of on the fence, but really looking into it, I'm leaning to side, on the side, side. Abu Bakar Nurmagomedov. And Gudin, even though I would say he has a striking advantage, it's not a huge striking advantage. Yes, he's ripped and uh, shredded and probably got 1% body fat and all that and got some heavy hands, but he has, like, his fluidity is severely lacking. It's not like he's the most cleanest technical striker or the fastest striker or this or that. His striking is pretty average, to be honest. But yeah, like I said, he's physically shredded up. Got some, his hand's kind of heavy, but he's not like a knockout, like a consistent knockout artist or such clean technique or so fast or... I don't know. No, he's not really anything. It's just... He's a little bit better striker than Abu Bakar, if that really maybe. in Abu Bakar got his own power, and he's actually more fluid with his striking. So I just see um, Abu Bakar being able to get takedowns on Gooden, be able to take him to the deep. I said not deep, but it's pretty much score takedowns on him, mix up in the feet, throw some feints up top, get him to react, and then drag him to the ground. Then once he gets reacting to the takedowns, then feint and come over top, land punches, and just really grind him to a decision. Take him down, drown him, and beat him to a decision. So in this one, I got Abu Bakar, Nurmagomedov, via decision.